Are you tired of constantly receiving spam emails or worrying about hackers using your email address to try and infiltrate your accounts? Hey, you're not alone, which is why you should stop giving your real email address out and use email aliases instead. Sometimes it feels like every time you go and check your inbox, you find yet another email trying to sell you something or worse, trying to infect your computer with malware. Most of us are still using the same email address we made 10 years ago. Well, because it's a hassle to create a whole new email just to be free from spam, right? Well, that's where you're wrong. It is actually easier than ever to set up additional email addresses that act as a proxy for your main one. And as what we call email aliases. Email aliases can be used to protect yourself and stop these annoying and potentially dangerous messages from infiltrating your inbox. So today, we're going to show you how you can use these aliases to take back control of your email and protect your online security. So let's begin. First off, what exactly are email aliases and why should you use them? Well, simply put, an email alias is a secondary email address that you can use to receive emails without revealing your primary email address. This is great for protecting your online identity because it makes it harder for hackers and spammers or anyone else to find your real email address. Usually, they are just temporary inboxes, giving you just enough so that you can access the registration email and confirm it, or they last long enough that you can still receive anything useful that goes through them. This means that if you need to, you can delete it and make a new one without having to worry at all about changing the address on all of your accounts. And this way, your personal email stays personal. All right, now you might be asking, well, why do I need an alias? Why don't I just use one of those VPNs like Surfshark? Well, VPNs protect your privacy. Sure, they secure your identity and prevent tracking when you're using the web. And you can go check them out all in the link below. But the problem here isn't something that a VPN can stop. The problem lies in giving away our email address. You see, more and more sites require you to sign up with an account just to use even the basic features. So it's increasingly difficult to know where your email address is being kept and whether it's safely stored. And that's because while your email address alone won't compromise you, giving out your email is like showing hackers where you live. If your email is used to log into other sites that store your personal data, all they have to do now is figure out how to open the door. On the flip side, if they don't know where you live, well then it doesn't matter how good their lockpicking skills are. They just cannot get in. So if you want to avoid giving out your real email to any Tom, Dick and Harry website out there, how do you do it? The answer, of course, is with email aliases. So now you might be wondering, well, how do I get an email alias? Well, one of the best things about email aliases is that they are easy to get. And there are two different approaches that you can take. The first type of alias is the alternate email address, one that is attached to your current email address. Most email providers offer them for free, and they're easy to set up. For example, Yahoo Mail is super straightforward for making an alias. What you need to do is navigate to mail.yahoo.com in a web browser and then sign into your account. Select Settings in the top right. Select More Settings at the bottom of the sidebar on the right. Select Mailboxes in the vertical menu on the left. Under the Email Alias section, select the Add button. Enter the name of your new email alias, go through the rest of the setup process, and you're done. Now remember, it's a good idea to name your alias after the service that you're signing up for, so that you know who's responsible if there are any leaks. You can also make an alias in Gmail, although it's a little bit trickier as you have to have a workspace account for full functionality, but you can add an email that you've created elsewhere and link it to your main Gmail account. Here's a five-step guide for creating an alias in Gmail. Sign into your Google Admin Console. Go to Menu, and then Directory, and then Users. To open the user settings page, click a user's name. On the left, under the user's name, click add alternate emails. Click alternate email and enter a name for the alias, at the part of the address before the at sign. This is optional. If needed, select a secondary domain, hit save, and you're done. Now any email sent to the alias will still end up in your inbox, but you'll know that they came from that specific alias. You know what else should end up in your inbox? Our videos, yeah. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our awesome tech content. The second way to mask your email is by using a disposable email address. 
Now these are temporary email addresses that you can use for a specific purpose, such as signing up for a service or entering a contest. You see, once you're done with them, you can simply discard them without worrying about spam or other unwanted emails. These are one of the most popular forms of email aliases, especially when you know that whatever you're signing up for is temporary and you don't want to hear from them again. There's a whole host of services that provide a temporary email, so here's how to use some of the most popular ones. Firstly, 10minutemail.com, which does exactly what it says on the tin. You see, this one is so easy to use, as all you have to do is open the page and you'll get a unique new email waiting for you, instantly. You simply copy and paste the email address in, and you'll find the email in your inbox on the page. If you need a bit more time to complete the sign-up process, you can reset the 10-minute timer for as long as you need. The second disposable email is Gorilla Mail, which is very similar to 10-minute mail, but has the bonus feature of being able to compose emails from a temporary address as well. It's also similar to a password manager in that you can set a master password and you'll be able to get one inbox that includes all the temporary ones that you've used. With disposable email accounts, you don't have to worry too much about them. You see, they serve a straightforward, limited purpose and they get the job done. But what if you want something a little bit more permanent? Now, you might have watched all of this so far and thought, well, I want something separate from my personal account, but I still want to be able to access, organize, and keep emails just like I would normally. Perhaps you have a side hustle or you've got a business. Something where you're more likely to share your email on the public domain. Well, the answer to this is usually super simple. Create a new account entirely. Now, the easiest platform to do this with is Gmail, where you can create a multitude of new accounts and switch between them easily by clicking on your profile icon on the top right of the screen whenever you're within any Google service, uh, Gmail, Docs, Sheets, etc. You can then set these emails to forward to your main address if you want to keep close tabs on them. Or maybe you're working from home and want some, you know, work-life balance, keeping them separate and only open that inbox when you're in office hours. You can take this a step further with your own domain name and different email names attached to it, such as sales at domain.com, inquiries at domain.com, and support at domain.com for all your business needs. Either way, you'll find yourself much more protected from scammers, annoying spam emails, and those pesky cold calls from companies selling stuff to you on your email address every time you sign up for something new. So let's recap what you need to do. Stop giving out your personal email. Get an email alias, whether it's an alternate email, a disposable one, or a brand new account altogether. Enjoy the peace and quiet of your brand new email inbox, free from nasty spam messages. And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for more tech content.